you were talking about challenges, facing challenges, and you're talking about uh, wealth also. Health is wealth. But that's a good segue to my next question. Now, um, years ago I read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you a question. You said you're 41. Mm -hmm. In the book, he said people generally reach genius level in their 40s. Mm -hmm. How is that? Is that true? Like, do you feel that? I mean, just looking back, I mean, it's evolution, obviously. Right. But do you thinking back, do you think that you have reached that level? I know there's always room for growth, mm -hmm. but how can you compare yourself to your 40s to when you were 20? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> um, I mean, I would say I'm coming into the back nine of this golf course. So the first nine holes, yeah, very interesting. But the back nine is where it's won. And I feel more relaxed. Um, the goal for me, and I'll be honest, I mean, this is a great question. Like before I turned 40, I wrote my fiance, Sheree, um, I was in Dubai, I was doing a, a, an appearance. And while the other guys are, you know, running around, like trying to find something to do, you know, go to a club, or just that. I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm, they're like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm in the lobby and I'm writing a note to her, but also to myself of all of the things that I've learned these first 39 years, right? And what I'm going to take with me into 40, the things that I'm going to, how I digest information, what are my strengths and weaknesses? Where are my blind spots? What things have I done well at? What things have I failed at? And own it, completely own all of it. And who's wronged me? Am I, and it really came down to the fact that I had to decide to be um, less bitter and be better. And it's easy to say that, uh, especially being competitive. I mean, I'm probably one of the most competitive people you'd ever meet. But how are you on your worst day is how I measure success in a person, like, like the, the potential in someone's you know, performance. What's your worst day? And... I, f I do feel that there is that, I would say, <laughs> I'm no longer a young Padawan learner. Yeah. I'm going into the Jedi mastery at this point, as I should, because I did do certain things. And this has more to do as a man than as Mr. Olympia. Mm -hmm. and I, and, but I do think that self-exploration does come with that time. And, you know, and, and yeah, it's a very good question. And I'm thinking one more thing is like, um, you really get so consumed in career or family and, and you're going to have these twists and turns and stuff. And, and it is that decision that you say, okay, I'm tired of playing these games. And let's be honest, 2020 COVID, I mean, it allowed us all enough time to reflect, to really set goals to really micromanage ourselves and those other people who are supposed to be in our life in certain ways, or in, especially in work, but really to stop pointing fingers. And I think mastery usually, be, you know, happens when you look more inward than pointing fingers. Um, we see it with parents, with kids, yeah. you know, with coaches and this, it's always the coach's fault or it's always the teacher's fault or this It's always my job's fault. But I always tell people, you point that finger, how many more are pointing back at you? And as 41, I look more inward first and not allow certain things to affect my energy. My energy is everything. That's a, that, and that's probably the biggest thing. And that's why, you know, the, create, the creativity being 20 is amazing. I think that's the, the cool part. The, the part about being 40, 41 is I can smile when I talk and people know that I'm happy. And I and I I will say that I could be having my worst day and you would never know because how I not because I'm not able to be vulnerable enough to chat about them. It's just that I look at it as scars. Like every badass warrior has scars. They have armor. And you could take it to a biblical part or whatever you want, but you earn those scars. You earn that armor, too. Right. 
And that's what I think is very valuable, being older. So respect your elders, <laughs> but also make sure that respect those who have done it. Because there's still those 40-year-olds or 50-year-olds that are still dumbasses too, you know, and, and uh, that haven't really applied the, the knowledge. Knowledge. That they've acquired along the way. They, they may have missed out on a lot in that journey. And uh, yeah, I mean, no, that, I know we're talking about this. Oh, wow, it's like, <laughs> but it's just a, it's a really good question. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, for if, if I were to say something to myself at 20 is, Phil, you're going to see technology take, take off, read more, mm -hmm. say less, read way more and say a lot less and observe everything and just play life with your damn eyes. Kind of like a coach would tell, the, you know, and that's the thing, I play basketball, play, like, play with your eyes, like just see what they're doing and figure it out. And always stay motivated to educate yourself, nonstop. Read less of this, <laughs> yeah. literally if you can do it, and that's what I would tell my younger self, it's like if you can get away from it as much as you can and learn more about yourself and own who the hell you are, but also have enough um, humility to extend a helping hand. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important because where we're at in society now, I mean, we say that we help each other, but we're, we're really doing it for an agenda that has nothing to do with helping that person. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Continue to work hard. You're going to learn from those mistakes. You're going to play life like a video game. Yeah. You're, you're going to have either the option to retry or <laughs> game over. And if you go through it like that, knowing like, hey, I have no fear of failure and really own that. Yeah. It's all about the application when it when it's the worst.